everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm on site today just for a couple of hours. I'm taking River out to get together with his friends later today, We're running some errands, uh, gotta get some more stuff at the hardware store. So it's only a couple hours here, but I wanted to put in the time and use those couple of hours. It started off by transplanting some more herbs from the other house. Every single time we're coming over, I'm bringing some of the compost from the other house, bringing whatever herbs I like, blackberries, raspberries, you know, even interesting flowers and things, transplanting them from he there over to here. Did that this morning, then came in here, and I literally cut and installed three boards. That's all I have gotten done today. But they are well done boards, and they were kind of tricky. Uh, it's this, this, and there's one right behind it. I'm just trying to frame out this uh, closet here. Uh, this thickness here was kind of arbitrary, uh, but I decided I wanted to make it match on this side. This side is, I think, six and three quarters inches or something like that, and I figured I'd make this side six and three quarters inches also, so when I install the door, it looks like it's kind of centered in the wall. I could have made this thicker and made it look like the door was shifted this way, or thinner and made it look like the door was shifted that way, but I figured, why not make it look like it's kind of centered in there? Uh, this board here had to be kind of custom made so it fit in with the angle there, and, and this piece here is kind of sandwiched up between uh, those two. Uh, and that's really all I'm going to be doing today, but it's nice that when I come back tomorrow, instead of my having not done any carpentry work while I was here today, because it's like, well, I don't have the whole day, you know, I might as well just, you know, do other things. These three boards are done. So next, uh, next time when I'm uh, coming, I can start, I, I think I'm going to start putting the face boards on here, perhaps. I, I may totally decide to do something different, but this has unlocked the ability to start doing the face boards here. Uh, once the face boards here are done, I can really more easily measure off those face boards on that side. And there's gonna be a trim piece that's gonna be going up here that I wanted to stick up against there. Um, that's also waiting for tongue oil to go onto the rock that's on this side of the, of the closet wall. By the way, this is a good view of what's gonna be going on in the closet. Wood stove here, rock wall here, Right through to here, I, I think I am going to put some uh, some kind of covering on this wall, but I want to leave vents at the top and the bottom, so as this rock here warms up, it'll create a convection current and warm up this space. If I put some trays in here uh, that are just sitting on the floor, not not mounted to the sides, because uh, then when people went up and down the stairs, the trays the, you know the trays would shake. Uh, but if I have some kind of shelving in here that's just sitting on the floor. Uh, this would be a great proofing oven, uh, not a proofing oven, a, like a proofing box for bread dough and stuff. It'll get kind of warm in here in the winter. Maybe I could put the, the bread dough like up on the top and use the bottom for other types of storage. Uh, but um, yeah, that's my plan in here is to make use of the fact that this is going to be a warm surface when the wood stove is running to, to use this for maybe raising, uh, rising bread dough and things like that. That's it. Thanks for watching.